Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Ruth Ayodele, is suing a senior colleague for the sum of 700,000 Naira, being a loan she granted for the production of a movie. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Bumi Asalu presided. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Ruth Abimbola and Ogulan Babajide, parties one on one. Ruth Abimbola, you are the one that brought Ogulan or Babajide to. When did you miss him? How long have you known him? Um, he's a senior in uh, my alma mater. I went to Olabisi in Obanjo University. So, okay. the senior we always heard about. So, I didn't meet him while I was in school or heard about him. So, I met him after school, like one or one. When was that? That was 2017. Okay. So, can you tell me, Abimbola Ruth, what is going on? You look pale. Are you okay? Or you want a seat? Yes, I'm sick. You are not feeling too fine. Yes. You have to speak louder. Can we have a seat for her? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, now tell me why you are here. Mm -hmm. I brought um, Mr. Babajide Ogunlano to this court because um, he reached out to me on the 6th of July that I should borrow him some money. So I gave him the sum of 700,000 Naira. Did you ask him what you want to do with the money? Yes. He said he wanted to invest the money in. Invest in what? Invest the money in business. So I gave him the money. And before I gave him the money, I told him specifically what I wanted to use the money for before giving him the money. I told him I wanted to add to what I had to invest in Badagri, because I live in Badagri. I wanted to buy a particular land in Badagri. So I told him before giving him the money. And since last year, he hasn't refunded my money. I've reached out to him several times. I've told him several times to give me the money. He has not given me the money back. And I've told him that before the end of this year, he doesn't give me my money. He's going to sleep in the cell. I will not mind that it's my senior colleague or anything. So, Babajide. You heard everything she said now? Yes. Okay, so can I have your response to that? Yes, um, just as she said, <clears throat> she gave me last year. I was um, during the coronavirus, so I actually wanted to produce a movie because uh, we are both graduates of theater arts. So, but the oh. economic effect of the pandemic affected the business I wanted to invest in. In what manner? Um, Lagos State government restricted movement and, sorry, um, I mean, gathering during that after, after the um, lockdown was lifted. So movie makers could not really gather to produce film as from July to like October, November. So, and where I was working initially before then, we were stopped because it was a school, I was a theater consultant there. So the, the, I was working with two schools, so they, they, we were asked to go home that a lot of parents lost their jobs, they withdrew their children, that the school was not running effectively again. And even till now, we are yet to be called back. So I lost my job where I was looking forward to, okay, if this business does not yield as much as I had expected, I would refund her with my salary. But I lost my job. The defendant, Babajide Olatunji, claims the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic wiped out the investment he made with the loan he got from Ruth. On top of that, he lost his employment and the hope of paying Ruth with his salary was dashed. The plaintiff, Ruth, is out of patience because our original plan was to invest the money in a particular piece of land, but that opportunity is slipping away. George Fumi wades into this matter. From what you said now, you could not produce the movie. Yes. You had the money on you. 
So where is the money? Yes, I, I invested because I didn't just want to be spending the money after I lost it. You are not even supposed to spend the money. Yes. Because the money was meant for a particular purpose. Yes. And immediately you realized you could not achieve it. Why didn't you return it to her? And probably tell her when you need it again, you come for it. Yes, I invested in food business. But that's not what you told her you wanted to use the money for. Yes, yes. My plan was that if I invest in another thing... And if you probably have told her you wanted to invest the money in food business, there's probability that she might not have even given the money to you. But you both said the two of you are theater arts practitioners or something. Yeah. That's what you both graduated from. So she has a, it's a business she understands. That could have made her very comfortable to have given you the money for that purpose. But for you to now unilaterally change what you intend to use the money for without consulting her and carrying her along, it's very wrong. The bottom line is she wants her money back. So you have to work out an arrangement on how to pay her money. I you have just to, have to. I have been making so, efforts, ma. It's not about making efforts. You must make a concrete arrangement now. So let her know how you want to pay her back, when you want. I don't, I don't have any business. I don't business have the means this. of income presently. I will have paid back. So but I don't know. I can't, I can't promise what I cannot give now. So I am still asking for... You can collect for, money. I'm still asking for patience. Patience in when? It's a year, 6th of July to 6th of this year. It's, it's already a year. It's more than a year already. It's more than a year. My papa is stressing me financially. They are stressing me physically. I had to come all the way from Badagu yesterday with my health. And I sent you everything. I just collected drip. I sent you all the videos, everything. I'm sorry about that. So when do you want to start? You said you want some time. You've not suggested when you want to start. What I can gather from what you've said now is like you can't start paying immediately. So, but you can't tell me you can't pay forever. Yes, I will. So definitely you have to tell her. You can't tell me that she has to wait until when you get the money. It's not done that way. It doesn't work like that in court. So you have to commit yourself to something. Okay, please give me till like January. January when? Like ending of January. I will try and... I've been trying to talk to people already, but it has not been yielding, so... Give me till ending of January. Let me see what I can do. How much will you give me by ending of January? I can't promise now, but I will work... I will work... Whose phone is on? It's my phone. Why? I'm sorry, ma. I don't know how far the damage you have done. I can take it from her and switch it off. I'm so sorry, ma. No problem. But the issue is always switch off your phone before you enter the courtroom. Any courtroom. Make sure you always switch it off. Yes, ma. Right. So when I, how much have you decided to advance to her in January? Um, so there I'm, are two things you have to agree on. You are going to pay when you want to start. How much you want to start paying by installment until the full payment is made? I'll, I'll, I'll work towards um, January and um, ending Tell her what you want to start paying by January yes, and I'll, let's see whether she will agree. I'll, I'll start, hopefully, I'll work towards paying 100,000 Naira monthly. I'll, I, pray, I pray I get the means by, by January, by God's grace. I'll start paying in installments so that I can clear everything. That's another seven months again. So another new year again. Ugh. It's not really fine by me. Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Master's Villa. An ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. 
The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further than Posina Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Posina Homes and Gardens, your choice today. He told me I should give him 700. He would invest in the business and give me 900. No, because the business never took place. So you cannot have any interest on that. He did not make profit on that money. Then secondly, the law does not permit you to get into obtain interest on loan unless you have the money lender's license. Do you have that? No, ma. So you are going to have that 700,000 Naira. And the 80,000 Naira is going to be for the inconvenience he has cost you for not having the money back at the right time. I told you I wanted to get the land. I explained to you. And if I don't give the man the money for the end of this year, you know how land and property is. They will not wait for me. They will sell it to another person. The food business I invested in crashed too. So that was, that was the problem. That's not our own problem. That, was the that has nothing to do with that. Because by investing that money in that business alone, what you did is not correct. It's deceitful. That's a deceitful act. You took money from her for a purpose. You told her the purpose you wanted to use the money for and she advanced the money to you. And when you realize you want to use the money for another business, what stopped you the same way you reached her earlier on? To call her and tell her that for this reason, I can't go into movie business, but I want to invest into this particular business. And you'll be on the same page. The worst that will happen, she'll ask you to return her money. And you still won't find yourself in this kind of mess. That would have saved you. I just want you to be very patient with me, please. Obviously, she's not going to... She wants her money back. That's just it. It's because I've been out of job. It has, it has really been tough. So how do you intend to get the money in January before? I, I have been praying. I just, I just hope. I've been talking to people too. I just, I just pray I get, I get favor. I really appreciate your patience. So please just wait for me till January. I will make frantic efforts to getting out the money. After January, what should I do? After January, what should I do? You can do, you can do anything. But I will, I will what are you, January. the two of you, what are you discussing about January? Are you talking about the total sum of 700,000? No, no, no. The, the monthly payment, I will start by January. I'm working, because I'll, I'll work. She's on. misunderstanding you. That's why I said the two of you have to, you have to clarify what you are discussing. I'll work towards what happened starting in the monthly payment by January. I'll definitely work towards it. Just be patient with me, please. You know what I'm saying now? January, we just want to start. Ah, January, we just want to start. It will enter July again, um, 2022. Ruth, you've been this patient so far, but for the property you said you want to purchase with the money, but do you know where he stays? No. He's leaving his house soon. You just said you are going to vacate the premises you stay right now. Right? No, I'm not vacating. You are not vacating, you are just owing. Yes. Okay. So it's something you can... How much is your rent over there? 150. Okay, so it's something you can work out with the landlord. Yeah. Okay. Where do you stay? I stay in Ikorodu. Ikorodu. Okay. Where do you stay, Badagri? Yes, ma'am. You are miles apart from each other. So what do you do? I don't deserve this thing you're doing to me. I really do not deserve it. I don't. I'm still going to address what the two of you did wrong. Where you went wrong. In and the way you transacted the, the whole thing with him. You didn't go about it the right way. 
a lot of people make that mistake. Because mm -hmm. you were mixing business with friendship. You just look at him that this is somebody you know, that's a friend, forgetting that when it comes to money that you were going to give to him, that's strictly business. You wanted to use the money for a business. You didn't drop any agreement between you, did you? Did you ask for guarantors? Did you take any collateral? No, ma. Next time, ask for two guarantors. Not just one, two. And make sure the guarantors, they are capable of offsetting the loan. So all these years, when he didn't answer you, it's all the guarantors, all of them, they would have paid. And it's not good to let the money pile up before letting the guarantor know. The minute it defaults, you call on them. So that the interest won't start. Don't be fair on the guarantors. Are you sure you start paying by January? Yes, I'll work towards it. I promise. And if you don't? You can do whatever you want to do. If it doesn't, you come back over here. OK, ma. All right. So I'll read my judgments. But I need to caution you. You are a very young man. It's not the right way to start your life. You don't need all this stress. Do you understand? Yes. Just be straightforward. Especially when you have genuine friends around you. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. She rules after the break. Judgment for the plaintiff for the sum of 780,000 naira. The defendant is to pay the plaintiff the sum of 100,000 naira on monthly basis for seven months and on the eighth month the sum of 80,000 naira judgment for the plaintiff from January 2021 until the full payment is finally made. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.